Hello everybody and welcome back this is the coffee with jay i hope you guys are doing great so the news that everybody wanted to know but no one wanted to hear is finally here you guys no pun intended so it seems like the aka suspects have finally been arrested earlier we heard that two had been arrested in swaziland and the other four have been apprehended here but it seems like it is swaziland where most of the discoveries have been made is where most of the information came from so the two guys that were caught in swaziland whose names are siabonga gezan in demande and malusi dave and demande were the ones who i suspect um took out all the information that the police wanted to hear because from what we understand the courts now have all of the information that they need to start a trial so it seems like someone paid for aka to be killed you guys now the two guys are these ones that were caught in swaziland now from what we understand this was a very perfectly curated plan where everybody was to receive their fair share of money and aka was followed allegedly from the airport king shaga international airport in umshanga on the 10th of february there was a getaway car that was organized there were sporters there were people who were following him every step of the way that he was taking whilst he was in durban it seems like someone paid um for all of this to happen and from what we understand needed someone with a very strong motive to curate such a plan and who else other than anele tembe's father moses tembe who was very upset after the passing of his daughter and clearly blamed kinan his daughter's alleged suicide as he said that his daughter was never suicidal so all fingers are currently pointing to him because the 800,000 rands that was paid out to those guys must have come from somewhere anyway the guys are said to have received 133,000 rands each the six of them must have divided like that equally very sad to know that someone's life can be equated to just a mere 800,000 rands which someone can just spend in one weekend and it's over and done with. Anyway, this is what the police had to say. As well as Mr. Tabelo Motswane, uh, who is also known as Tips. Uh, the incident that happened on the 10th of February in Florida, here in Devon. These six, they played different roles during the operation. We have a coordinator who is basically the master of everything, is in custody. We have um, two shooters that you also on, on social media. We have um, two spotters that were part, one of the spotters inside the restaurant, observing and watching Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Forbes and, 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 his, and his friends, as well as the organizer of firearms and vehicles, because the vehicle used as getaway firearms that were used to shoot the old hired. As I said, the six of them, uh, the spotter, initially followed uh, the uh, Mr. Forbes from the airport on arrival all the way to the hotel as well as uh, to the restaurant where the incident happened. 